I got a letter from Marcy in Cape Coral. Marcy said, um, if my husband has a good job and all of our debts are in my prior name or name prior to marriage, can I declare bankruptcy? Get the gist of this. Basically, somebody came into a marriage and they brought debt with them. First question I always get is, if I get married to this person with all this debt, does that become my debt? No, no, not at all. Unless you physically sign the contract, agree to be bound to it, do some overt action. I want to take on this person's debt and I'm willing to sign for it, saying that I'm personally liable for it. First of all, I'd knock you on the head and say, what are you doing? You don't want to do that. If you do do it though, then you're obligated for the debt. No doubt about it. You sign a new contract saying, I'm going to be bound by this. I haven't heard of anybody doing that, so I'm not worried about that. But the other spouse who's getting married saying, I don't want to be part of this debt, you know, will marriage bind me to it? And the answer is no. Marriage will not bind you to it. Where the problem becomes is when we get into the bankruptcy world where we have to look at the household income and the household expenses. My advice would be is, look, if you're going to enter into a new relationship and this person has debt problems from a past relationship, whatever, it doesn't matter. Work with them on getting their debt problems resolved before you get married. That's one solution. If you're already married, it's not like the, you know, the bell is already rung and we're, we're past that. You can still work on the debt problems together. Remember folks, a problem that somebody brings to a marriage is not a problem. It's just something that needs to be worked out. That's what a marriage is. You work out your issues together and you go forward. You know that as well as I do. Debt is only a speed bump in the road of life. It happens, you deal with it as a family, and you move on. And you don't let it drag you down. You focus on the future. If you guys listen to the radio show that we do on Wednesday mornings with Big Mama, you would have heard a great call yesterday morning from a, a single mom who was looking to better her life by buying a house instead of renting. And she said, you know, I don't have great credit. I'm not going to be able to afford the best things. Am I eligible to buy a house? And I thought that was fantastic because here's a woman, single mom, probably living on one income, raising a family, but she's looking at the future saying, hey, I need to take some action now. And there's no better time than now to take action. When you're looking at Marcy's problem, I understand the problem. I see it all the time. And the best thing I can do, how I can counsel Marcy and other people like her, is to say, look, take the problem head on. Deal with it, get great advice, focus on the future, and then put a plan in action and bang away at it until you achieve your goal. So Marcy, great question. Thanks. I appreciate it.